Hey guys, today I'm going to give you a visual representation of how Martin Garrix's No Sleep featuring Bond was mixed. And this video is uh, part one of a new series that I'm going to be producing where I visually show you how really popular songs of your choice are mixed. So go ahead, hit the comment section below, letting me know what songs you would like to see me visually mix for you. Before we get into the video, I would like to say that I'm so happy to finally be launching the Hitmaker Mixing Academy, which is my mixing course. It's one of my most requested courses yet from you guys. I sent out a survey, if you remember, uh, about a month and a half ago asking you guys what kind of course you would like to see from me. And 90% of you said you would like a mixing course available at alexromsound.com. So that mixing course is finally here and you can check out a couple of the lectures for free by logging on to alexromsound.com or going into the description right below this video and clicking the link directly to the course. It'll be the first link. But let's get into the video. I wrote a quote defining exactly what mixing is so that we better understand what it is we're about to be doing. Mixing is the step of the music production process that takes your freshly produced leads, chords, basses, drums, effects, and atmospheric sounds and cleans up everything using compressors, EQs, imagers, and pan knobs so that every instrument can coexist in a single song to sound like one beautifully produced, tight, rich, and full song. So mixing is about giving instruments direction and a job. Let's get into the demonstration. So let's take a look at how the verse of No Sleep is mixed. So the first thing to understand how something's mixed, we're going to need a stereo image. And it's all a stereo image is, is when you put on a pair of headphones or you sit in front of a nice pair of studio monitors or speakers, it is the area that the sound sits. So, this stereo image is gonna start with you. You're here, this is the top of your head, there's your big nose, and then here's your right ear, and here's your left ear. So you're looking that way. So this is you, and here is your stereo image. Right here, here's the area of musical information. All right, so here is your stereo image. Here is your mono. So everything that's directly in front of you, here is the left side of your stereo image, here's the right side of your stereo image. This area of your stereo image, we're gonna have some lower frequency sounds. This area, we're gonna deal with the mid frequency sounds and then the high frequency sounds. In the verse of No Sleep, we have the vocals. We have a nice bright snap. We have a string bass line. We have an atmospheric drone that's kind of floating around the background. We have those nice piano chords. Right here, this represents our raw mix. Just a bunch of instruments piled up on top of each other with no direction. So as a mixing engineer, we need to find a direction for all of these instruments. So let's start to do that. Our vocals, are already in the right place. They're a high to mid frequency sound that is panned to the center of the mix. Also panned to the center of the mix, we got our bass line, which is a low frequency instrument. One more thing panned to the center is our snap. This is a very common setup for these three instrument types. Your leads, drums, and basses are always gonna be panned to the center, and then your supporting elements, like your piano chords, we're gonna spread them so that they can wrap our important instruments and keep our mix sounding full and wide. Now these are spread, but they're not as spread as we can go. Why? Because we have our atmospheric drones that can be as spread as they can go. So right here we have three positions. We have our instruments that are pans to the center we have our instruments that are kind of spread, and we have our instruments that are really spread so that we get this big, wide stereo effect, but we keep our important instruments in the center so that everything remains nice and big and supported. So one more time, this is a visual representation of how the verse in Martin Garrix's No Sleep is mixed. In the drop of Martin Garrix's No Sleep, we have a sub bass. Whoops. Got our sub bass. We have a hi hat. We got a big old kick, synth lead, clap snare effects, 
and some atmospheric drone sound. So here's a mess of instruments and again, we need to figure out a direction to put all these instruments. So let's refer to Martin Garrix's No Sleep. Where are all these instruments sitting? Well, that big old kick is a low frequency instrument and it's gonna sit in the mono, right in front of our listener, right in front of your big nose. And then we have our synth leads which are high to mid frequency sounds, and they're gonna be panned to the center. However, in Martin Garrix's No Sleep, there's some stereo effect to make these synth leads really wide and in your face, but they're not too wide. They're wide enough that they sound wide, but they still keep their dominant mono position and give you a, a strong mono. The snare clap is also going to be panned to the center right on top of the kick. This is a high to mid, mid to high frequency sound as well. Then we got our sub bass. Our sub bass and our kick are gonna share this low area down here in the center. So this is all of our central instruments here. I forgot, we had some piano chords too. This is where things get interesting in this drop because these are the only instruments in the center. We have our piano chords, but they're spread a little wide like this. They're not as wide as they can be, but they're pretty wide. Then we have our hi-hat, which is panned all the way over here, and this is a high frequency sound. So this is panned really wide to the right side. And then there's the effects, which is all the impacts and white noise crashes. These are also spread kind of around the atmospheric area too. I love spreading effects. Gives you a nice big sound. And then finally, we have our atmospheric sounds, which are again, super wide. So I want you to notice a pattern here. You have your most important instruments that are always going to be in the center of your mix. And then you have the supporting instruments. Everything that supports the lead and the bass and the kick kind of spread around the stereo image. Isn't that cool? Because I think it's fucking cool. And this is the drop to no sleep. I hope you guys learned something. I love you. Thanks for watching.